the promotion of many sciences and encourage religious tolerance. The conqueror Sultan Muhammad al-Fatih resettled Muslims, Jews and Christians from other regions of Anatolia to create a diverse society governed by Islam. As the years progressed, however, the Muslims declined. After failing to capture Vienna and Malta, despite repeated attempts, they were eventually confronted by a resurgent Europe. In 1687, the Austrians defeated the Ottomans at the Battle of Mohacs. Faced by the growing might of Russia and with progress having stagnated, the Muslims watched as Europe underwent a renaissance that saw science, art and culture flourish. The British, French, Portuguese and the Dutch developed into colonial nations. The intellectual enlightenment gave rise to the initial phases of what was to become the capitalist civilization. In 1642, the king and parliament went to war in Britain and eventually politicians wrestled power away from the king who was thought to be God's representative on earth. As Britain evolved into an increasingly powerful nation with worldwide colonies, the same enlightenment created revolutions in France in 1789 which saw the rise of Napoleon and a conquest of Europe that few believed was possible, resulting in the defeat of Prussia, Austria and Germany. France's imperialistic ambitions were finally stopped by Russia and Napoleon's once so-called Grand Army was dealt its final blow at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 by the British. In due course, these underlying tensions led to World War I. Britain, France and Russia allied against Germany the Ottoman 